The darn safe is named for one of the former trotting superstars of the Hayes Fair Acres stable. That was based here in DuCoin, and darn safe's final resting place is right here on the infield of this one-mile track. No changes in the seventh race. Here are the starters. Number one prime prospect is owned by Dick Baylog of St. Charles, Illinois, trained by John Bootenshane, and John Bootenshane is the driver. Two Mystical Mystic, owned by Gene Lemkeman of Mount Sterling, trained by Bruce Baker. He is the driver. I see Blue Boy, number three, is owned by James and Beverly Hauser of Mansfield, trained by Delbert Burkett of Ellery, Illinois. Connell Willis is the driver. Number four, Sherry's Kim, is owned by Premier, uh, Premier Racing Stable, rather, and Horseman's Financial Agency, Incorporated, trained by Eric Plowman, the driver, Tony Morgan. Number five, Seamster, is owned by the Lilly Racing Stable, Incorporated, of Sam Lilly, by Jerry Graham and J.D. Graham of Downers Grove and of Salem, Illinois, trained by Sonny Graham. Dale Heitman is in the bike. Number six, Dumman, owned by Bill and Brenda Langdon of Tams, trained by Candy Schooley, the driver Tim Tietrich. And number seven, a full-time lover, owned by Mystical Marker Farms of Chicago Heights, by Jack and Peggy Hood of Valparaiso, Indiana, trained and driven by Dirk Simpson. This exact race is only three minutes from a start. Owner Dick Baylog is just itching for a confrontation with that Italian horse that won the Breeders' Crown. He said if the horse doesn't come to take on Plesak, he is a coward. <laughs> Dick Baylog, one of the more colorful and one of the top owners we've got in Illinois. Here we go. Race seven. They're off and trotting, and there goes Sherry's Kim out for the lead, followed by IC Blue Boy toward the inside. Seamster toward the center of the racetrack. Prime Prospect made a break heading down to the first turn, and Sherry's Kim now moves up for the lead. Seamster goes second up on the outside of IC Blue Boy in third. Mystical Mystic is fourth. Demand is fifth on the outside, and then Full Time Lover a close up sixth, but a gap of nearly 15 more lengths to Prime Prospect, who now is beginning to close that gap from the back of the field. He is last. Heading by the quarter, Sherry's Kim leads it by a length and a half. Seamster is second. Opening quarter went in 31 seconds flat. Gap of three more lengths then to IC Blue Boy in third. Demand is racing in fourth. Then Full Time Lover, Mystical Mystic, and Prime Prospect. Heading toward the half-mile mark, Sherry's Kim dictating the tempo, leading it here by just a length. Seamster is getting a good trip in the second position. I see Blue Boy goes third, just in front of Demand, then full-time lover moving up on the outside. Mystical Mystic is next, and Prime Prospect now has caught the field, racing by the half-mile mark. And they were there in a time of 103 and 2. Sherry's Kim leads it. Seamster is second toward the inside. Full-time lover is now third and now second by a head on the far turn. Mystical Mystic moves up behind him and fourth. Around IC Blue Boy, then Prime Prospect and Demand midway on the last turn. Sherry's Kim leads it by three parts of a length at the three-quarter mile mark. And Full-Time Lover is lingering in second on the outside as they race by the three-quarter. Seamster is needing racing room still tucked away toward the rail in the third position. Off the three quarters and 135. That's pretty leisurely for a fast track. And they're at the top of the stretch. And here comes full-time lover to challenge Sherry's Kim. Mystical Mystic. And then Seamster is still looking for room toward the inside. They're at the eighth pole. Sherry's Kim short lead to full-time lover. Seamster still hunting for an open lane. He's crying out for a racetrack. And here he comes. Seamster between horses. Sherry's Kim has the lead. Full-time lover is there. Sherry's Kim short lead. Seamster is gobbling up ground. And Seamster, when he got the racing room he needed, he was the best. Seamster won it. Sherry's Kim second and then full-time lover third in 204 flat. The official winner of race seven at the DeCoin State Fair is in victory lane. Here's number five, Seamster, Dale Heitman, the winning driver. It is official, the 5-4 Exacta, $8.40. This two-year-old Sea Wind Yankee Colt bred by Phil Rietveld of Crete, Illinois. Owned by the Lilly Racing Stable Incorporated of Downers Grove. And Sam Lilly is there in the winner's circle. Jerry Graham and J.D. Graham of Salem, the co-owners. And Sonny Graham, Jerry's brother, is the winning trainer. Let's talk to the winning trainer, Herman Graham Jr., better, better known as Sonny. Sonny, I talked to you a few weeks ago when you raced this colt at the Farmer City Fair. I asked you at the time if he was a state fair champion kind of colt. He won his elimination of Springfield. Looked like he was going to be a factor in the final, but then he made a break. What happened there? Oh, he just got a, he's a two-year-old, and he just got a bug in his bonnet or something that day, and he decided he wasn't going to try. But uh, he's trained perfect since and, and did well and came on and warmed up good today, and I thought he'd be all right. 
He looked real good today. 204 flat, the winning time for the mile. How about the final on Saturday? Any concerns there? Well, yeah, you always got uh, Homer's Colt, which he looked like an awful, awful good horse. But we should get a good dollar out of it. Referring, of course, to Homer Hochstetler's Colt, Cadabra, who won the Illinois State Fair Championship. Homer's always tough. It's going to be a, a difficult race, but you deserve to be in there because your horse is a winner today. Sonny, congratulations. Absolutely. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Sonny Graham of Salem, Illinois, the winning trainer for today's seventh race. The rundown is next.